OpenAI just made a massive release. Today, OpenAI announced Sora. Sora is a text to video model and is something we have not seen up, up till this point. Now, what's remarkable about Sora, it's not necessarily that it is a text to video uh, model because we've seen models like Runway and Picker that do very, very similar things, but nothing quite like this in terms of the level of realism that we're seeing. And some of the key features are one minute long videos. And I can just say that this is probably one of the biggest drops in a very, very long time in this space. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this. I don't know what the exact quality uh, is, but it looks uh, like 1080p, uh, probably 4K, but we're gonna know more when OpenAI releases more information about uh, this particular project. But it's a project that OpenAI is saying uh, has been released to uh, some visual designers, filmmakers, as well as their red team. They're still doing a lot of uh, you know calibration and testing and getting feedback and things of that nature, but the videos are just simply stunning. I mean, the quality is something we have just not seen yet. And the amount of realism we're talking about is just something completely uh, insane. And this is just simply showing how crazy things are going to get. It's just, we're just in a different zone at this moment in time. And I, I like I said, I just can't wait to see more videos that are, you know, being generated by folks. Um, but let's take a look at a few of the videos that they have here. Uh, as you can see, the, the stunning nature of these videos, this, uh, you know, Lady in Tokyo video is just something that is pretty awesome. Uh, I have an interest in this one because it talks about Lagos, Nigeria. You know, it's pretty cool just to see the level of detail, the realism. Uh, you know, when you look at this truck, for instance, driving through a dusty road and you look at the, the way the dust is being captured here, I'm pretty much speechless about this at this point because this is something that we didn't expect to happen and OpenAI is really pushing the boundaries of what AI can do and this drop really just sort of changes everything in my opinion. Now, this week as well, Gemini dropped 1.5 and 1.5 is their most powerful model today and essentially the claim is that it can handle significantly long context uh, understanding and wait for this and this is no joke gemini 1.5 can handle up to 1 million tokens now i don't have access to this yet because it's still very much in private preview but i cannot believe that we are in this zone yet. Now, some of the other things that they claim this can do is that it can um, essentially process up to 10 million tokens in your testing, and it is pretty remarkable. Just for some context about what a million tokens means, First and foremost, the biggest model that we have today, GPT-4, has 128,000 uh, tokens in its context window, which means that that is what you can process at any given time. But with a million tokens, we're talking about one hour of video, 11 hours of audio, and over 700,000 words is what you can actually process in one single operation. At this point, I think, we are now in stupid zone. We're now in silly season when it comes to AI and, and these large language models and what they can do. It's still currently in limited preview, but we can uh, expect that this is going to be available very, very soon through uh, the Gemini Studio uh, as well as Vertex AI. The moment it drops, I'm going to make a video about it, of course, and I'm going to be seeing how capable it is. Now, this is pretty really mind-blowing a million tokens nobody is doing this and even though they released this i think 
OpenAI Sora just simply took everyone by surprise. Everyone is sort of, you know, going crazy about that. But this is a pretty big release. Of course, they're also adding some multimodality. And one other thing that they mentioned is also that the 1.5 Pro can now achieve comparable uh, you know, results to the ultra and with very, very less compute. So I think we are heading in, uh, you know, you know, such a, an amazing direction when it comes to these large language models. And I can't wait to see what open AI does in response to this because a million tokens is just completely wild. Now, the other release from this week was from Slack and Slack AI, which has been, you know, much awaited, you know, they announced a few features you know, summarizing threads, um, an AI powered search. But I think what was really interesting to hear uh, when Slack dropped this was, uh, you know, Notion and Perplexity collaborating with Slack to also integrate their AI capabilities. In my previous video, I have looked at integrations with Slack and multiple, uh, you know, in multiple use cases, assistants and agents, including actually connecting Slack to Notion as well. So it's interesting to see that Slack has now brought their generative AI capabilities right front and center. I think it's still available only to enterprise users. So we're still gonna be waiting to see, you know, when it's gonna be released to the free tier or the pro. I don't know if they have plans of doing that, but uh, Slack has now dropped their own AI capabilities. Now, finally, the other project that was announced this week, and this week was just a wild week for AI, was from Cohere as they announced this open, uh, source research that they were doing, uh, which was which is called Aya. Now, Aya is a multilingual model with data set covering 101 languages. Now, what is pretty impressive about this particular project is that they worked across 119 countries, 3,000 researchers, uh, all contributing to this. And I'm, and I'm really excited to see how this continues to improve the possibilities of multilingual, uh, you know, large language models, because at this point in time, a lot of the large language models we have are kind of really limited to a few languages. So really seeing this project kick on and uh, seeing where they go is really exciting. Uh, you can access Aya in the playground uh, on Cohere. So go to cohere.com slash research slash Aya, and you can try the playground out. Now, when I look the playground though i think one thing to note about the playground is that i think it's just 21 languages which have actually been released uh for use in the playground but in their release notes they talk about 101 languages which you can use so i think for you to test this out uh we have to wait and see if um you know when they actually make all the languages available in the playground for us to test out now this week in ai is pretty wild, a lot of really awesome things, a lot of an awesome announcements. I hope you are as excited as I am for OpenAI Sora and Google Gemini 1.5. Until next time, have a great one. Cheers.